partner analysis of Kide and Archer from Fate Zero. I want to look back at this series by examining how the various pairs worked together, starting with these two. Although they were not partners from the start, it was fairly obvious early on that they were heading towards a betrayal of Tokiomi and an eventual team-up. It all kind of resulted in this union of evilness. Which is to say, I don't think Archer set out to become the villain, but it was just that the alternative by Tokiomi's side was just too boring. And Kirei was just kind of wandering around, waiting to be told what to do, with no direction and no ambition. Prior to his little talks with Archer, no one ever really entertained the notion of Kirei potentially making decisions to benefit himself. Their relationship became mutually beneficial because Kirei needed someone to push him into figuring things out for himself, and Archer needed someone to entertain him. Each of them had original partners who were entirely incapable of providing what they needed. Assassin did not challenge any of Kirei's commands or decisions, whereas Tokiomi was just far too stable for Archer to get anything out of him. Once the two of them teamed up, they pretty much took the reins of the Grail War and picked off a bunch of the other teams through brute strength or trickery. I did not keep it a secret throughout the series that I didn't find Kirei much of a good character because his personality was pretty boring and so was his appearance. And it was also not so much a secret that Archer was my favorite and that I would usually burst out laughing whenever he would come on screen. But it was starting to get to the point where when we saw Kirei appear on screen, we could start to anticipate that Archer wouldn't be far behind. That conditioning foreshadowed their eventual team-up because it was the only thing that made sense for both of the characters. Both of them were pointed down this road early on in the show, and the only surprise was how long it took for them to actually get around to murdering Tokiomi. But then at the end, I guess, Kirei was actually killed by Kiritsuku, but he was given a new life because Archer was given a new life. In this sense, they really are partners now because their lives are connected and dependent on each other. Separate from one another, one of them bores me, and the other one induces laughter at even inappropriate times. However, when they're in a scene together, talking to each other and drinking wine while watching people suffering, there's something very chilling about it all. There's a part of me that still wants to crack up, but I know that the things they're discussing are so very dastardly. In this enormous cast of colorful characters, it's a wonder how these two characters, who are polar opposites, would not only find each other and team up, but would be so compatible. I often wonder how the show would have turned out if there had been different combinations of masters and servants, but somehow I feel like these two still would have ended up on the same team. Once the two of them paired up, the war became that much more dangerous, because they're not only sociopathic, but they're sadistic as well. They not only enjoy watching people suffer, but they agree on it, and they believe they deserve to watch other people suffer, which creates a terrifying combination. Anyway, I'm going to be looking at a couple of the other groups from the show, but if you have any other suggestions for characters or themes you want me to take a look at from Fate Zero or any other show that I've been watching on my channel, then please let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Bye!